I do all the childcare. When a mom friend was at our house, my husband proudly declared that. That's not true, though. He's thrown all the childcare on me, and he's never even changed the diaper in his life. After the friend left, I confronted him. What do you mean by I'll do all the childcare? It's all lies. Why are you so angry? I am an active dad, so it's not strange to say that, right? Active dad? You've never done any childcare. Stop telling such lies. It's embarrassing. You're so cheeky. Don't talk anymore. Jonathan, seeming irritated, takes out a cigarette from his pocket and starts smoking next to the baby's crib. Wait a minute. What are you thinking? Smoking in a room with a baby? Then you guys can go elsewhere. I immediately picked up our daughter and evacuated to the next room. At that moment, I was silently fed up. I can't take it anymore. I don't want a big lying husband who doesn't take care of the kids or do the housework anymore. After this, I want you to witness how his disguise gradually unraveled. My name is Catherine. I'm 30 years old and currently on childcare leave. My husband's name is Jonathan. We met through a friend's introduction. He's a bit of a show off, but he's a good guy. Introduced with such a reputation, Jonathan was indeed a bright and lively young man. He worked as an office worker in a major company. He was highly trusted by those around him, and there were expectations for him at the company. As I was rather shy and withdrawn, he dazzled me, and I was attracted to him more and more. We started dating, and by the second year, Jonathan proposed, and I happily accepted. When we visited his parents, they warmly welcomed me. Well, what a lovely young lady. I'm happy to meet you. Jonathan, if you're marrying, prioritize family. Catherine, he may be a bit lighthearted, but please take care of them. With my in-laws, it seemed like we would get along well. Next, we visited my parents' house. My family consisted of my father, who worked for a large company, my stay-at-home mom, and my brother, Randy. A year ago, Randy went through a divorce and took custody of his two-year-old daughter, Lila. He returned home and with our parents raised her. Jonathan introduced himself and greeted them. Nice to meet you. I'm Jonathan Ward. I've come to introduce myself and express my intention to marry Catherine. To ease his nervousness, the family casually chatted with him. I am delighted Catherine is getting married. Ah, what a wonderful young man. Catherine, make sure he doesn't end up like me. The cheerful greetings relieved me, and it seemed my parents also liked Jonathan. Later, Jonathan and I had a wedding ceremony, and we began living together about two hours away from my parents' house. Jonathan claimed to be busy with work and didn't help with household chores. Despite being newlyweds, I worked hard, and within a year of marriage, I discovered I was pregnant. When I shared this news with Jonathan, he was delighted. Am I going to be a dad? That's fantastic! Yes, let's build a happy family together. Of course. Can you help with household chores from now on? Ah, uh, yeah, I'll make an effort. I was relieved when Jonathan said that. Maybe he'll change after the baby's arrival. I'd appreciate it if he could help the housework. However, that expectation was quickly shattered. Jonathan continued to avoid any household chores. Even during my morning sickness, he warned me not to neglect housework. I tried discussing it with my husband multiple times, but each time Jonathan insisted that the household chores were the wife's responsibility and didn't budge. I began to worry if it would be okay to bring a child into this situation. Around that time, I was approached by someone at a parental checkup at the maternity clinic. Excuse me, are you perhaps Jonathan's wife? 
Oh, if I remember correctly, you're Rachel, right? It was Rachel, Jonathan's colleague who attended our wedding. Rachel happily informed me. I heard from Jonathan, you're pregnant, right? Actually, I am too. Really? Congratulations! When is your due date? Rachel's answer revealed that our due dates were only two weeks apart. We both rejoiced at this coincidence. We got along well, exchanged contact information, and headed home. That night, when I reported meeting Rachel to Jonathan, he said, Oh, Rachel works in the company's public relations. She's good at her job. Really? She's also pregnant. It might be nice if you become mom friends. Yes, I intend to. After that, Rachel and I started having tea together and exchanging information. We shared our anxiety as a pregnant woman and Rachel became a reassuring ally for me. Eventually, I gave birth to a cute girl named Michaela. Both sets of parents visited the hospital and celebrated Michaela's birth. Jonathan, you've finally become a father. You'll be a good dad, I'm sure. Jonathan's unsuspecting father conveyed this with a smile. Jonathan responded confidently. Of course, I've taken childcare leave, so I'll be splendid hands-on dad. My mother and brother were also delighted with Jonathan's decision. Well, he's reliable. If it's Jonathan, he'll be fine. Later, I was discharged and the three of us, Michaela, Jonathan and I, started living together. Although Jonathan took six months of childcare leave, he didn't contribute anything at home. He didn't even pick up Michaela when she cried or feed her milk. On top of that, he took advantage of his company vacations for paternity leave to go out and have fun all the time. Despite that, he often posted photos of Michaela on his social media, proudly showcasing our daughter. I was becoming increasingly exasperated with Jonathan's behavior. Then one day, I really needed someone to do the shopping that day, so I asked Jonathan to drive me. I headed to the baby supply store and stocked up on milk and diapers. During that time, I had Jonathan held Michaela. At first, Jonathan made a displeased face. Hey, do I have to hold her? I'm worried she might spit up the milk. Just endure it for the time it takes to choose and carry the products. Fine, whatever. While shopping like that, we were suddenly approached. Catherine and Jonathan too. It was Rachel, a mom friend who gave birth around the same time. She's also carrying a baby. Rachel, long time no see. How's motherhood treating you? Rachel shows a smiling face at my words. My husband helps me, so I'm managing. It's a bit early, but I'm thinking of returning to work soon. During such conversation, Rachel suddenly looked at Jonathan. Well, is Michaela being held by her dad? That's nice. Uh, yeah, well, of course. Jonathan suddenly straightened up and answered. Then Rachel continued. Hey, if it's okay, can I take a picture of Jonathan? Huh? Our company puts a lot of effort into supporting employees with childcare. In my PR department, we are planning to share about parenting. An active dad taking childcare leave is just perfect. So, can I post Jonathan on social media? Upon hearing that, Jonathan's face lit up. If that's the case, I am happy to do it. Come on, Catherine. You've got heavy stuff, right? I'll take that. He abruptly took away the diapers and milk I was holding. Jonathan, you're a really good husband and dad. Rachel happily took many pictures of Jonathan, who was carrying Michaela in the baby carrier and holding diapers and milk. The photos were then posted on the social media site of the company Jonathan and Rachel worked for. And lo and behold, it got a huge response. 
Social media was filled with praises for Jonathan, and it seemed to contribute to enhancing company's image. Upon hearing this, Jonathan was elated throughout. I've become like the representative of active dads, you know. You must be proud too, right? Well, it would be nice if you were truly an active dad, but as I said this, I couldn't tell if Jonathan was paying attention or not. Despite being hailed as an ideal active dad, he never contributed to childcare. Yet he continued to post numerous photos on social media of Michaela, creating an illusion of active involvement in parenting. Jonathan's personal social media followers have also increased. He had even changed his account name to Super Dad Jonathan's Parenting Adventures. Praised by followers and complimented by both sets of parents and my family, Jonathan was getting more and more carried away. In reality, he was hardly involved with Michaela. One day, when Rachel was visiting us at our house, Rachel said, The response to that photo was incredible. Our company even gained a positive image as an understanding place for employees with children. Thank you so much. After Rachel conveyed this to us, Jonathan responded proudly, well, I've just been showcasing my usual self. Just as I was thinking about that, Rachel turned to me and said, Catherine, you must be happy. Having such a wonderful husband must be a big help, right? In a boastful tone, Jonathan then exclaimed, Of course, I handle all the parenting duties. Suddenly, he lifted Michaela from the baby bed with a proud expression, causing Michaela to start crying. Seeing this, Rachel looked surprised. I quickly interjected. Stop it! She was finally sleeping! I hurriedly took Michaela from Jonathan and nursed her. Seeing this scene, Rachel said, Well, it's time for me to go, and left in a hurry. After Rachel left, I confronted Jonathan. What's this about you doing all the parenting? It's all lies! Why are you so upset? I am an active dad. It's not weird to say that, right? Active dad? You haven't done any parenting at all! Stop lying like that! It's embarrassing! Rachel left because she found it suspicious. You're so annoying. Shut up. Irritated, he took out a cigarette from his pocket and started smoking next to the baby bed. Hey, what are you thinking? Smoking in a room with a baby? Then you guys can go somewhere else. I immediately picked up Michaela and sought refuge in the adjacent room. At that moment, I had silently reached my limit. I couldn't stand a husband who didn't contribute to parenting and household chores, constantly lying. Through the gap in the door, I took a photo of Jonathan continuing to smoke and sent it to someone. The next Sunday, my family was supposed to visit our house to see Michaela. Jonathan warmly welcomed my family. Thank you for coming, Mom, Dad, Randy. Sorry to bother you, Jonathan. I've been seeing your active dad posts on social media. Upon hearing this, Jonathan repeated that same line. Well, I handle all the parenting duties. Hearing this, my mother smiled. Is that so? Then let's see your active dad skills right away. Huh? Seeing Jonathan hesitating, my mother, while holding Michaela, told him, Oh, it seems like the diaper is wet, Jonathan. Could you change it? My husband looked at me as if seeking help. Ignoring him, I went to the kitchen to make tea. Um, well, the diaper, right? My father talked to Jonathan, who was confused. What's the matter? Don't tell me you don't even know where the diaper is. Uh, no, that's not it. If that's strange, it was here just a moment ago. As Jonathan visibly started to panic, my brother-in-law intervened. 
Look, Jonathan, it's right there on the sofa. Oh, you're right. I didn't realize it was here. With a faint smile, Jonathan picked up the diaper. However, afterward, he seemed unsure of what to do next, freezing in front of Michaela. In the midst of this, my mother urged him. You're an active dad, right? Naturally, you can change a diaper. Come on, give it a try. Unbeknownst to Jonathan, my father, mother, and brother had surrounded him, observing with the cold eyes. Jonathan was sweating and stood there, unsure of what to do in front of Michaela. Eventually, my brother sighed and spoke up. Let me do it. He swiftly took the diaper from Jonathan's hand and efficiently changed Michaela's diaper. Without missing a beat, my mother intervened. Jonathan, are you sure you're an active dad? Surprised, Jonathan denied it. No, that's not true. I'm a great active dad. My father continued. Randy's ex-wife was just like you, so I figured it out immediately. You put on a good show outside, but in reality, you leave all the parenting to your partner, right? Yes, that was the reason for Randy's divorce, his ex-wife's neglect of parenting. That's why my family is strict on those who don't contribute to parenting, despite being parents. Actually, I received this photo from Catherine yesterday. She confronted Jonathan with the picture I took showing him smoking next to the baby bed. Th this is... My father glared at Jonathan. Don't do such things. It's disrespectful even to the concept of being a father. In reality, you were leaving all the parenting to Catherine, weren't you? And yet, you had the audacity to claim to be an active dad. But, but isn't parenting supposed to be the wife's job? As Jonathan tries to justify himself, my brother Randy coldly retorts. Parenting is a responsibility for both parents, regardless of gender. Your attempt to pose as a caring dad is quite despicable. Ugh, ugh. The moment Jonathan groaned, the doorbell rang. It was Jonathan's parents who came to our house. Huh? Mom and Dad? Why? Yes, I had also arranged for Jonathan's parents to come at the same time. Of course, I had sent them the photos of Jonathan smoking, along with a report on his history of neglecting parenting duties. Jonathan's parents bowed deeply, expressing their apologies. Catherine, I am sorry for my foolish son. Please do as you wish from now on, Catherine. That's right. Well, then, it's unfortunate, but we're getting a divorce. What? Divorce? It was first time Jonathan was shocked. Divorce is a problem. I'm recognized as an active dad. He yelled in protest. In response, I sternly rebuked him. Shut up. We don't need a lying father who doesn't do household chores or parenting for Michaela. We're getting a divorce. I'll take custody of our daughter. Th that's... As Jonathan was shocked, I delivered the final blow. You'll log into your social media from your computer, right? I posted your true nature on your social media accounts earlier. Huh? Yes, I exposed Jonathan's actions on social media along with a picture of him smoking. Jonathan frantically looked at his phone and screamed. What is this? There are lots of comments saying liar and betrayed. What are you going to do about this? It's all your own doing! Finally revealing your true colors, and here I am feeling refreshed without you. My... my image as a devoted father. Ah! Ah! Jonathan screamed in a state of near madness. His in-laws dragged him away. And later, the divorce between him and me was finalized. He had to pay compensation for mental distress, undergo asset division, and pay half of the child support in a lump sum. 
we agreed on monthly payments for the remaining child support. Due to my exposure of his true self on social media, Jonathan lost his standing as a devoted father. Even Rachel, a mom friend, removed Jonathan's picture from the company's social media, expressing disbelief. She said that she never thought he was that kind of person. His refreshing image as a devoted father at work has completely crumbled. Unable to endure being looked at with disdain, Jonathan ultimately resigned from the company. Currently, it seems he is doing physical labor at a construction company known by his parents' acquaintances Ern and Michaela's child support. Hopefully, he learns from this and reflects on his actions. On the other hand, I, along with Michaela, have returned to my parents' home and am raising my child. My parents and brother also help with child care. My niece and daughter are growing up together like sisters, which is heartwarming. By the way, I occasionally let Michaela meet my in-laws, and they also cherish her like their granddaughter. From now on, I want to embrace a bright life, looking forward to my daughter's growth.